My name is Jack Cross and welcome to the September 8th episode of Inside the Lines. Hope you guys are having a great day. My name is Jack Cross and today we have a huge, 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 unbelievable, unpredictable, unexpected, you can use every single word in the dictionary type announcement regarding NASCAR and Auto Club Speedway. Now this announcement was first reported by The Athletic from Jeff Gluck and Jordan Bianchi and it says and has confirmed that NASCAR is looking to give Auto Club Speedway a facelift. Originally, Auto Club is currently a two mile, very old, bumpy uh, uh, super speedway, basically. Well, it looks like NASCAR is trying to convert that to a mile and a half track. I'm not kidding. This is what the proposed uh, plan looks like. It's basically going to be Richmond, but stretched out on the side. Uh, it's going to have you know a curved front straightaway, a back, a straight back stretch, but more importantly, it's going to have 11 degree bank turns. So it's going to be the Straits of Martinsville and the banking turns of Bristol. Now, according to the report, NASCAR has submitted these plans to the San Bernardino County on Tuesday, so today, that laid out a proposal that not only involved uh, a remodeling of the track, but a remodeling of the infrastructure around it. And also reducing the size of the property's footprint uh, in order to free up some land for other uses or uh, for an eventual sale. Craig Neve, NASCAR Executive Vice President and Chief Innovation Officer talked about the announcement that NASCAR will be making this change to Fontana. He said, quote, we are still very early in the process. We are excited about what this ambitious project could mean for our loyal fans in Southern California. This is our first step towards creating a state-of-the-art facility that would deliver the intense short track racing our fans love, an intimate viewing experience, an upgraded suites, and hospitality areas that would position Auto Club Speedway among the top entertainment venues in the market. Yeah, uh, this it's huge bombshell news, uh, but later on we're going to dive deep into more about what this report says, but right now... It's very interesting that NASCAR says this because if you remember a few months ago, NASCAR developed a partnership with Hillwood uh, to create for the future either existing tracks or new tracks that they would innovate to upgrade it to uh, more a uh, modern look so to appeal to fans. Because if you look at majority of NASCAR's tracks, they are old from the 90s or early 2000s. The newer tracks like Phoenix, Daytona, even Darlington, they had an upgraded facility around the racetrack. Richmond Raceway, they're all upgrading to appease to today's society. And it looks like Fontana is going to be jumping on the train, but they're doing it in a completely different way. They are reconfiguring everything from the racetrack as well as potentially surrounding around the racetrack, uh, adding some new things to make it much more as accessible and make it much more, I guess you could say, enjoyable for the fans to come in the future. And when you look at the track, it's in California, which is a state that is home of entertainment. It makes sense. You want to be able to uh, fit into a fan base that is surrounded with entertainment uh, venues and things to do. You want to be able to upgrade your facility to the point where fans could take a look at it. Even fans that know nothing about NASCAR or probably don't care about Fontana or the racetrack itself, they could look at this track and be like, hmm, this looks nice. It has a lot of stuff to do, lots of things going on. I might check it out. Initial designs have the new short track at Auto Club Speedway using part of the existing front stretch banked at 11 degrees, then diving into a pair of high bank turns similar to Bristol, which will cut through what is currently a large grassy area between the track and pit road. What is currently pit road would get reconfigured with similar banking as a front stretch and become the new tracks back stretch followed by two more Bristol style turns through the ball field and back onto the front stretch so yeah again just to reiterate it's basically Richmond Raceway just wider in length and wider in the turn so they're gonna have the banking in the turn similar to Bristol and straights like Martinsville but one part of the track or the front stretch is going to be at a curve at a bank area at 11 degrees so that part is probably going to remain untouched that's still going to be part of the original Auto Club Speedway. Now, what many people are wondering is this, because this is a major, major change. And again, it's not like Daytona when you're only changing the outside of the racetrack. Fontana is doing everything outside and inside the racetrack. Well, NASCAR has said that they're going to be able to get this thing done before a race even takes place. So basically, we're going to have a Fontana race every year, regardless you know, of the construction thing that's going on. It says here in the report that NASCAR said that the plan would not mean Auto Club Speedway falls off the NASCAR schedule during construction. If approved in time for work to begin next year, the new track potentially could be completed in time for the 2023 season. NASCAR could then hold races in the meantime in spite of the construction. Also, you have to understand next year. 
uh, there is this thing called COVID-19 has taken place and California right now is not in the best shape when it, t- uh, when it comes to COVID uh, cases and basically being able to fight the virus. So saying next year is a pretty bold statement. I mean, I hope they'd be able to get this in time, but I don't know, it might be, it might be difficult for them to be able to get construction in without it affecting any of its races. You also have to understand that Fontana is taking place pretty early in the season race four i believe in the schedule compared to well if you look at last year it would have been uh they would have held two races one in the spring around race five or six or even race two in fact and then one in the fall during the chase era so unless the nascar needs to move fontana further back in the schedule in order to get itself ready for a new reconfigured race or i don't know how they're going to be able to uh, change the schedule to fit Fontana's construction. I just want to say this. I'm happy that, you know, NASCAR is doing this in terms of, you know, trying to spice things up. But why Fontana? Fontana is a really good track. It's a track. It's a really fun racetrack. It's not the track that I think needs repairment or needs a change. The track's fine. The package is just trash. But now people are saying, oh, but what you mean? Fontana has been horrible since 2016. You look at 2017, 2018, when they had the high horsepower, low downforce package, it sucked. Well, yes, that's true, but you have to understand that that package also didn't work on other racetracks. The only track where that package worked at was uh, Chicagoland. Everything else sucked. So still, Fontana is a track that I don't think needs change all right if you want to look at a racetrack that needs change look at texas for example i know texas is not part of nascar smi owns it but again my point is basically use a track that sucks fontana is a track that i don't think needs reconfigurement Uh, it's a track that i think it's fine you just need a package that can fit that racetrack and also like like we all want short tracks we all want that no one ever said Take a two-mile racetrack that fans love and reconfigure it to a mile, uh, 0.5 mile track. No one, no one asked for that. The only thing we did ask for was for more short tracks. So, meaning, go to short tracks, Nashville Fairgrounds. That's a real short track. Go to places like that. Don't take a two-mile track that people love that doesn't need changing, and then just reconfigure to a mile and a half track. Don't get me wrong. I want this track to be successful, and hopefully, when it it is uh, finished in uh uh, constructing it can perform a much better show and could bring in bigger crowds i hope for that but then again if you look at on the other side why (laughs) just go to a real racetrack and work on that you know it's just i don't know but my opinion this is typical nascar they take whatever the fans get and they twist it to make it seem like hey you did say you want my uh, short tracks well here you go we want real short tracks. So we want tracks like Bristol, tracks like Richmond, tracks like Martinsville. We want more of that. No one ever said to take a two mile track and convert it to a mile and a half track. And NASCAR is going to be like, well, you did say you wanted more short tracks. But yeah, but us fans are going to be like, yeah, but no, <laughs> it's, it's, it's typical NASCAR. Yes, but no. But yeah, again. I understand both sides. I am happy that NASCAR is looking at uh, renovating more of these racetracks. Currently, five tracks, I think, have been renovated. Daytona, Phoenix, Darlington, Richmond, um, and I think one more I'm forgetting. But currently, five tracks have been renovated. And since they have been renovated, they've all have experienced better crowd attendances or at least better fan experiences. A track like Fontana in Southern California, in my opinion, could be a hotspot if done right. You know, if they can get the package right, you think if they can uh, renovate the facility to make it more fan accessible, to make it much more fun for the fans, Na- uh, NASCAR and Fontana in California could be a major, major hotspot. But I don't know if this is the right route that NASCAR is going. You know, uh, they're, re- they're, they're going to call it next gen at California. Again, I hope for the best. It sounds like a cool idea. It's like a combination of Martinsville and Bristol. It sounds cool, but again, it's, it's like you're gaining a short track, but you're then losing, you know, a track that is really fun. Watch the Xfinity series at Fontana. It's produced some really good races in the past two or three years. So it's not like it's the track's fault. It's the package. That's the problem. And again, I don't think NASCAR gets that. They think, oh, we'll just change the track. It'll work. When in reality, when you look at a track like Fontana, 
I don't think you need to do all of this work to get good racing or to get a better attendance. Just work on the package. You look at a track like Texas. That's a track that needs serious work. Again, I know NASCAR doesn't own Texas. That goes to SMI, but I'm just using Texas as an example of look at the bad tracks first to fix, and then you can look at the good tracks to see, okay, how can we improve that? Who knows? Maybe this improvement could be better from Fontana. Who knows? It could be great. But right now, just looking at this, I'm very skeptical. I want this to work, but... Part of me also is like, I don't think you need to do this, but who knows what's going to happen. But first of all, before we really dive into this thing, we have to know that it has not been confirmed that NASCAR is going to be doing this. They've only submitted a plan. That's all they've done. They've submitted a plan. It has not been confirmed by the county that they are allowed to start constructing. And all I'm going to say is, is that the future of NASCAR is going to be very interesting because remember, Auto Club is part of ISC. NASCAR owns ISC, and I think ISC owns 12 racetracks, so who knows in the future? You, uh, I think Kansas is an ISC track. Martinsville is an ISC track. You know, don't be surprised if you see NASCAR in the future looking at other racetracks that they can own and start renovating them. And it could be exciting because in the past, if NASCAR wanted to do something, they first have to go to the track, the track decides that they want to do it or not. Now, NASCAR can just do whatever they want to. If they want to make Fontana a two-mile or two-and-a-half-mile track, they can do that. If they want to transform Martinsville to a super speedway, they can do that. That will never happen, but I'm just saying, NASCAR has more control of what to do with the tracks, and I think that can be a really good thing. But it can also be a, uh, let's just say a questionable thing, but yeah, that is going to be it for me for today's episode of Inside the Lines. But now, the biggest question I want to ask you guys is, what are your thoughts on all of this? Are you happy that NASCAR is going to be making this or uh, making this potential change? Are you sad? Do you think that uh, Fontana is the right track for this change, or do you think another track should have a change like this? Again, leave all your thoughts in the comment section down below. But until next time, my name is Jack Cross from MDK. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more content. And I'll see you guys next time.